back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the Vibe Tribe family. Today we're calling it Freaky Friday because today's whipping chat is definitely kind of freaky. <laughs> we, we got, I'm very, I feel very vulnerable right now, but I'm trusting my therapist. Jerry, I hope you're right about this. <laughs> I share with you guys why I went MIA. What's to come? My hashtag journey to self. You're going to have some tears. You're going to have laughter. You're going to hear frustration. But I open up. I want to thank a lot of you for helping me get to where I'm at. And know that you've helped to save my life. We've got a little bit of a longer intro. This whip and chat is not for shade or drama, please don't make it that. People have asked why. Why have I been so inconsistent? Why am I one minute here, the next minute I'm not? Well, here we are. Man, I feel vulnerable right now. There's like a part of me that just wants to delete it and just go do an unboxing, because that's safe. But... This is the start of hashtag journey to self. If you don't like it, don't watch, unsubscribe, unfollow. Bye-bye. Sherry 2.0. Okay, you guys, let's get into this after we pay a little respect and homage to the members and Patreons. Hey, hey everyone, how's it going? How's your day so far? Hope it's a fantabulous one. Sherry and Mr. Purple here with Purple Door Crafts. We, okay, you guys, we're gonna start this off with teamwork. Mr. Purple is making the pulled pork for supper tonight, you guys, so I can film. Because we still have to go get worms for the lizards and we got his parents coming over for supper tonight. And I'm behind as per usual because I couldn't film last night for a few reasons, which we're going to discuss. But I need to put a little bit of a disclaimer in. This video, this whip and chat is not me drama. This is not shade. I didn't film last night because I did not want this to become a drama or shade for the for, for some of the stuff I have to talk about. I am in therapy and my therapist has, he knows all about my YouTube channel. He actually follows along. It's kind of weird. He's following the collab that Lisa and I are doing uh, Wednesday nights for mental health awareness, and he has told me that if I need to discuss something, discuss it, talk about it, share, but make sure that you are not filming while still in heated emotions. Make sure that I'm not doing a reactive emotional video but instead, just doing like what I'm doing right now. You probably are gonna hear noise in the background. We have a man in the kitchen and we have crazy cats. Of course, I'm filming, why not? And so I am, therapy has been 
And the collab I'm doing with Lisa has done so much for me. I am calling this whip and chat Freaky Friday. Because I'm literally sitting here going, even Mr. Purple is like, did this week seriously just happen? Like, did this all just play out the way it's played out? And we're like looking at each other like, holy sheep caca. It, it, this actually happened. And I know some of you are going, okay, okay, you've been pulling our chain long enough. Just tell us. So I'm going to start it off and I'm just going to say it. I'm moving. Tomorrow, Mr. Purple and I are going to Edson to sort through the apartment and get ready to have me move to Innisfil. The government has decided to cut me off. And that's fine because you know what that you know what you guys that's just going to kick me in the ass. It's not like I was really getting much because I've been battling them for how long? Really, I had my medications. But anyway, moving on. Squirt. I hope you guys can hear me with Mr. Purple's protest that I'm asking him to cook. <laughs> I'm not protesting, I'm cooking, so I'm, people who cook, they make noise, you know. Really? People who cook, they make noise. I look at... <laughs> I look at people who are making noise while cooking, protesting. <laughs> now I lost my train of thought. What was I talking about, huh? <laughs> well, moving. Anyway, yes, squirrel, big squirrel, double squirrel. We have male squirrel, female squirrel here. This, this trip, like we're going to be gone until Wednesday next week because I go live with Lisa. And this first trip back here is going to be bringing all my crafting stuff. And we're going to take a week and I'm going to get my crafting, filming workspace set up. And then when we go back, we'll be the last round. We're going to grab everything else that we're bringing. Bring everything back. It's like spend some time there. Bring everything back here. And then we'll spend, get, you know, get things here. Our floors are also getting, we're getting all our floors upstairs replaced. So, and then we have to go back to do the clean and walk through, so on and so forth. I would have had this whip and chat up sooner, but I truly felt that I should talk to my family first. But like, there's nothing worse than finding something like this out on social media especially for my children. You know, I did not want them to find out that mom has to move sooner than planned. Thanks, Trudeau. Just saying, throwing that in there. You know, but really, it's a blessing in disguise, the way I see it. My children are absolutely behind this. I mean, I know they don't like it, but they understand. They know that I'm not moving for selfish reasons. I'm not moving because I choose Richard over them. And it's okay. I'm trying not to cry. It's going to be tough, but I will be going back to Edson once a month during the good months, for seven, 10 days, maybe shorter, you never know. So you guys are going to get to see some traveling, um, some vlogging. Um, well, if turn, you're- Turn that thing on. Push the button until it go, oh, excuse me, you guys, yeah, until wait. it goes to high. <gasps> see? Wow. Four hour. You push the button, it turns on the crock pot. How about that? Hey? Cool beans. You're a smart ass. <laughs> That's right. Better be a smart ass than a dumbass. <laughs> so if Mr. Purple is going to be in the background in my videos, there is going to be swearing. He's got a potty mouth worse than I do, but that's 
you know. Ooh, be careful, but never take the Lord's name in vain. Like saying GD, please no one ever do that because that'll even upset me. I'll tell I'll tell you when I get off when I'm done filming. Anyway, squirrel, here we go. Going all over the place, but I do remember what I was talking about. I truly feel you guys that I am going to have more quality time with my family this way than I have been. As you noticed, I fell off the face of the planet again because I was so depressed. So depressed, you guys. I was more depressed than I realized. And like my therapist said, you can't force someone to see something. They have to discover it on their own. After everything played out in September, trying to hold my head high, realizing that someone I thought was a friend was, was completely gaslighting me. Give me one second, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are on take number four, five, I don't know. Because I keep saying things I shouldn't. And I know you guys are saying, well, it's your channel, say what you want. Well, no, I made a promise to you guys that I will not bring drama. I will not shade anyone. I don't want to do that. I won't do that to a person, a channel, a brand. Nope. Not for drama. Now, when you say get a product and you don't like it and you share your thoughts, why? That's not shading or drama. What I did to Eskies in July of 2019, that's drama. That video's gone, by the way, I believe. If not, it will be by the time I'm done filming this. Me and Eskies have worked through that. And then what happened in September, that was drama and unfair to you guys. So I brought intense drama to this community twice. And I made a promise I wouldn't do it again. Hence why it's taking me a few takes to get this done. So as I was saying, and I'm going to try and make this brief, and then we're going to move on to other stuff. Someone who, I, like I was saying, someone who I thought was a friend was gaslighting me. My therapist is the one who called it gaslighting because I sent him our entire conversation from the moment we started talking to the moment we stopped, including when I reached out to them in, in December for help, thinking, let bygones be bygones. You know, I, just, I needed advice. I didn't, know any, I didn't know who else to turn to. Yeah, I sent a huge long-winded message. I can do that. If I message you, you know that. Sometimes I can get pretty long-winded because I try to explain myself and I'm trying to learn how to not do that. And I was wrong. I never should have reached out to them. That wasn't fair to them. I wasn't thinking of how me reaching out to them would make them feel, especially close to the holidays. I was in a dark, manic place. Like I said, I can admit my wrongs. I'm not perfect. I've hurt people. I've said things I shouldn't have. We all do. But he read everything. And that was when he said, you have been gaslit completely. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some photos up on the screen so you guys can see what gaslighting is. I'm sharing this, A, to share why I couldn't film last night. If I would have filmed last night, I would have had my third drama probably. And no, I won't do it. I'm trying to find peace and prosperity and balance. And some of you may be thinking, well, why are you even mentioning it? Because this is my channel and I'm hoping maybe I can help one of you. Maybe you're in a relationship, a friendship. I have somebody within my own family who's doing it to me. You know, my ex-husband. I, 
I asked my therapist, why? Like, why, why do I keep going? Like, why do I keep, you think I'd learn? And he said, you don't know any different. It's what you know. And I was like, well, that sucks. <laughs> that's nice. But that's where I'm in intense therapy right now. Twice a week. Well, I haven't been since I've been here. Mr. Purple just found out I'm in therapy. While I was in my real dark place, I had stopped speaking with my therapist. I had pushed everybody away after I found out what gaslighting was. I pushed my subscribers away. I pushed my family away. I pushed the world away. Because I was so angry at myself. And that's why we're doing hashtag journey to self. I will not bring drama to you guys. I will never shade a person, a creator, a brand. Now, if I'm doing a review, I will express what I like and don't like, but I will not be cruel. I will not be mean. And I will not be malicious. My therapist asked me a question, and this is the last I'm gonna mention on this, and then we're gonna move on. He said, why haven't you made a video showing people? And I said, why would I? I said, that's just adding, making it worse. He goes, but people would see. I said, no, I won't do that. That's, it. I could, I could take screenshots. I already have them, but, and only for defense. That's it. I will defend myself. I will, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to hurt someone. I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to make someone look bad or make a brand look bad. Yes, I have a TSA unboxing coming up but I'm not gonna purposely be malicious or nasty. Why would I? We'll talk about that when I do the unboxing. I said to my therapist, I know what it's like. So why would I make, why would I do that to someone else? Even if I don't like them. I think it's pretty safe to say we don't like each other and that's okay. The world's big enough. The only reason why I got pissed off last night was because I wanted to get something and it was for my husband for his birthday, not because I wanted to be friends. That ship has sailed. Not because I want drama, because I wanted this for my husband. That's it, that's all. And I apologized for December. You know, that's kind of a part of like when you're in treatment, no matter how, what the person could say, you make them, you, you apologize for where you went wrong. And I did. And I got made felt that big. As per usual. But that's okay, because like my therapist said this morning, make you feel small, make you feel worthless, keeps you under thumb. Take your power back, don't allow it. And that's why I didn't film last night. If my ex-friend wants to 
blast me, go for it. I've been so low, you, I can't get any lower, you guys. Literally, I can't. And how somebody treats you says more about them than it does about you. What bothers me is the other friends that I have lost or people who have stopped talking to me because this person did. It's taken a lot for me, like, YouTube has been one of the most amazing experiences and we're gonna get to that soon. I had to get the shitty stuff out of the way first and then we're gonna get to the good stuff. YouTube has been one of the best experiences for me. I've never had a voice. I have never stood up for myself. I have never believed in myself. And I have never felt like I was worth something. I do now. I have a voice now. I will speak my mind with kindness and respect. I will never be malicious towards somebody, even if I don't like them. Now, if someone gets real shitty to me, I, 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 will, I will defend myself. The reason why I'm sharing this is because maybe I can help someone that doesn't even realize that they're going through the same thing and don't even know it. It wasn't just the ex-friend. I have someone, like I said, I have someone in my family. I can't remember if I said I would put photos on the screen it, to let you guys know what gaslighting is, but I will do, I will post them again. If I already have, well, you're about to see them twice. Do not let anyone ever make you feel any less worth than what you are. Don't. If you are a YouTube creator, don't make my mistakes. And I'm actually going to do a video. But I'll just say don't make my mistakes. Don't worry about pissing people off. Don't worry about rocking the boat. Do you. Be you. As long as you are being kind, doing your craft, and just staying in your own lane, you'll be fine. But the moment that you're worried about what everyone else thinks, creators, subscribers, that's when things will start going really wonky. My therapist has taught me about timelines. And literally he has picked my channel <laughs> apart. I really want to prevent any new creators. <coughs> Don't make my mistakes. Don't allow worry and fear of other people's opinions or seeking approval affect you. Please, like, oh. If I wouldn't have been so worried about everyone's opinions and seeking approval, I would have told you guys when I found out about my misdiagnosis. I lived for two years thinking I had MS. And when I found out about the misdiagnosis, I was so afraid of what happened happening that I didn't tell you guys 
when I found out, and I should have. But I did not create this channel faking. I actually believed until I found out I had a severe form of fibromyalgia. And if you believe me, you believe me. If you don't, you don't. That's on you. I'm literally to the point, I don't care what people think of me anymore. <gasps> wow, right? I really don't. I really don't give a flying snapping dragon what anybody thinks of me. If you don't like me, that's fine. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. That, that's cool because there are a lot of people that are not my cup of tea. But I'm not going to go out of my way to make them feel bad. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to be mean. This is why I have been an MIA. This is why I have been so consistent or inconsistent. Is because I haven't, I wasn't sure how to talk to you guys about this. You know, as we do journey to self, hashtag journey to self, I'm going to share what I want, when I want, how I want. Don't like it, don't watch. This is my journey, not yours. If you choose to follow along, awesome. My channel would not be where it is without you guys. I don't know if you guys will ever know how much you have done for me. The ones who have stuck by me, the ones who have supported me, the ones who believed in me when I didn't. So many of you have stuck by me. And I'd ask myself why. And my therapist is like, they see something in you that you don't. He says, maybe you need to see, maybe you need, like. And then it was like a light bulb went on. Bing, 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 bing. Well, how can any, I, I need to like myself. I need to accept myself. I like who I am. I've got some flaws. Oh boy. But I am a kind, caring, loyal person. I would give the shirt off my back to someone else if they needed it more. Uh, Mr. Purple and I were grocery shopping when I first got down here. And I had heard someone say, oh my, oh no, I've only got $30. She cleaned me out. And I turned around and I looked at the grocery counter and I could see juice boxes, school snacks. So obviously a child and yeah, I'm gifted. I was born with gifts and last night I finally accepted them. We're going to talk about that in a minute, not in great detail. I went over and I paid for his groceries. He's like, you don't have to do that. I said, just pay it forward. I said, I've been in a place where someone has helped me. Not once, not twice, but multiple times, you know, throughout my life and recently. I said, please let me do this for you. I literally brought this full bearded mountain looking man to tears in the middle of a grocery store. The cash years, like, I've never seen that. I've heard of random acts of kindness, but I've never seen it. I'm like, Shh. like I, I, I didn't po I didn't come home and post about it on social media. I did it to help him. And that's who I am. There's been many times I've been in Tim Hortons and I'll pay for the person's coffee behind me and just tell the cashier, say, pay it forward. Random acts of kindness can go so far. This gentleman literally caught up with me in the parking lot and said, my ex just left me with her child, killed my dog, took my truck, 
And now I just seen clean me out. He said, you just put such a bright spot in what's been such a dark time. Thank you. He's like, can I hug you? I'm like, all of a sudden I'm like, eh, COVID. I don't like to be touched at all. I, I just don't. Unless you're Mr. Purple, then it's okay. <laughs> and the reason is, is not only because I have... Are you saying it was because... No, I'm filming. And I actually think I'm going to get it in this take. Woohoo! It happens, it happens. Not, it's not just because I've been raped. It's when, sometimes when people, when I, you know, hug or shake hands with people, I'll get an energy burst or a spirit connection. Sometimes I'll, I'll see things that they've been through. I don't like it. Well, I, no, I don't like it. I can accept that I'm able to communicate with those on the other side, but I, I can't accept, I don't like seeing things that people have gone through because some things are horrid. I don't like being able to walk past a family and know that the father is doing bad things to his family and there's nothing I can do. But the other side of the, my gifts, and I know some of you can understand because you've reached out to me and shared your gifts with me. I was so angry last night. And then something so powerful and moving happened. I was trying to figure out, film, not film, I'm angry, I'm hurt snorting and snarling and then a friend called me I'm not gonna mention who I will not go into details spirit messages are private I will never ever share if I give you a spirit message and I, I have given a fair amount you know a few of you in the community spirit messages and I, I've, I've blown people's socks off. I don't need people to boast me. And I don't need people to, I don't, I, and I will never, ever share a spirit message that I've given. That's not right. I will never, ever charge for readings. <gasps> Atlanta, you guys, I just realized I haven't given you the meanings from last week's card readings. Holy snapping dragons. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing when I'm done filming. I need to go give you guys your meal. All right. All right. We're going to get to business now here, you guys. We're going to get to business. Mr. Purple and I are going to Edson tomorrow. We'll get back to the spirit message in a minute. I'm going to get this out. See, here we go. Jumping. I'm going to have to put in a little uh, editing here. We're going to Edson tomorrow. We're sorting through what we're keeping, what we're not. We're bringing back all my crafting stuff, everything. So we can take a week, get me set up here, head back and finish it off in, in one last load. The reason why we're doing the crafting first is, A, I want to set up my crafting space, <laughs> obviously. And then that way things are ready for when I get back. And what I mean by ready is YouTube is about to become my full-time job. I want to go back to school. My therapist has recommended, he thinks I would make an amazing forensic psychologist. If you're not sure what that is, that is, I would be working with detectives to help solve crimes by building suspect profiles. That is something that, you know, human behavior has always intrigued me. I think I've, I've shared that with you guys. 
And he thinks I would be really good at that. So I do want to go back to school. And I don't want the government to pay for it. I don't want, I want to do it. I want to put myself through school to better myself in a, like a really cool job, career. I want to do it on my own. So I will be working Monday to Friday from like nine to five, nine to four. Evenings and weekends are for me and Mr. Purple. Or if I'm in Edson, my family, because I'll be going to Edson once a month. You guys are going to see, and I'm, I mean, I know I've said it so many times, but I was never ready. I never had the confidence in myself. I do now. I'm like a freight train. And once I'm determined, that's it. It's game. I, I won't. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Nothing's going to stop me. Just watch. Just sit back and watch. I have already started utilizing my planner. I think that's how I say that word. I haven't slept for a bit. I've actually, I was monster sleeping when I first got here. Hey, hun? Yes, you were. And then all of a sudden, bang. But I had gone some time without my ADHD medication. Yes, I have ADHD. And I had gotten my ADHD medication. And I, I know what keeps me up is because I need to take my medication in the early morning. So this is where hashtag, to, hashtag journey to self. You guys are going to watch me slowly get organized. You're going to watch me grow. If you are a Patreon tier three, when I create Patreon tiers or a YouTube community member, Cauldron member, you will get the behind the scenes where I vlog, like little snippets, like when I'm traveling or if something silly is happening. Like last night, I did a little mini tour of what's going to be my crafting workspace. I, I know, I, I already know you guys, I've sucked. I've been empty promises, inconsistent. I know that. I'm not doing this to prove something to anyone. I'm doing this for me. I love YouTube. You guys will never know how much you have helped me. I would not be where I'm at right now without you guys. Even Mr. Purple knows that. He's, he's been with me for 12 years. He sees how much YouTube and you guys have helped me. Even the haters. Because the haters and the negatives have made me see exactly who I don't want to be. So thanks, haters. Love ya. Mwah. Thanks for the watch time. <laughs> I know I have helped many of you. Even with my crazy bullshit, I've, I know I've helped many of you. Because you've reached out and told me. And that's why you're still with me. I will be forever grateful. And the way I'm going to let you guys repay that to you guys is by becoming consistent and following through. It's going to take me some, like once I get here and get settled and get into a routine, like when I was working my oil and gas office job, like I ran a multi-million dollar oil and gas office for seven years. I was an office manager. And if you know oil and gas, you know what it gets like in the winter. I can be organized. I can be not so squirrely. I need to get into a routine. And that's where I'll get up in the morning, have coffee with Mr. Purple, grab breakfast, shower, whatever. And then I'll be down in my little crafting workspace. I will share that with you guys. One second, folks. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, you guys. And I realized, you know what? 
I'm not refilming that. Oh, hells to the no. Mm -mm. It's been a couple hours since I filmed that in that clip, but I didn't realize I was so out of, like you guys couldn't even see me diamond painting, but then I'm like, I'm not refilming that. That took me like four or five takes. Mm -mm, I'm not doing it. No. You're not looking at the screen anyway. You're, you're either diamond painting, crocheting, or whatever it's going to be that you're doing right now. This, this whip and chat didn't go exactly the way I wanted it to, the way I had planned it, but that's kind of the way this week has been. Like we're both, me and Richard are both blown away. We, our first blown away was when I had called my parents and told them what was happening. They were 100% behind this. Blew Richard away. After everything that played out in September, and then he heard, no, I think, Sherry, we think this is for the best. Like, we have seen your decline, and no, this, this is for the best. Like, you know, the government cutting you off has, is a blessing in disguise. We didn't know what to say when we got off that call, which was so awesome, you guys. Then... People that have been reaching out to me. People I wouldn't even expect to. Have, you know, blown me away. And then speaking to my children last night. I was crying and... Because I don't want my kids to think that I've chosen to move away because I don't want to be with them. Or I'm, I, you know, I, I'm choosing to be with Richard over them. I'm not, no, that's not the, I have no choice. Like I have no choice in the matter. And I've now realized that this is for, for the best. I have been absolutely miserable. Absolutely miserable to the point I was sleeping all day, all night, pushing the world away. They aren't angry at me. They understand. And that, especially Carson, as he, he has autism, he has high functioning autism. So the, things like this are really hard for him. And I had made a promise that I wouldn't move here until I was done raising the kids. And Carson has told me, Mom, you break this promise and I, I don't think I'll be able to speak to you for a very long time. And when Carson says something like that, oh, he means it. No, he understands. The boy's dad apologized to me for the way he's treated me. That blew me out of the water. And he says he, he sees how much I've grown, like the difference in me. And he apologized for trash talking me to the boys as we were raising them. And he realizes now that's some of the reason why I can struggle with the boys sometimes. I have amazing young men, amazing. I am so proud. And I'm, I know I'm, re I'm talking about the boys. We'll get to my daughter momentarily. I'm talking about the boys because I was talking about Max. Yeah, squirrel. I'm proud to call them my sons. Considering things have not always been easy, you know, like that we, we are, they have separated parents. Nobody wants to see their parents separated. My, my sons have never seen addiction. I was in recovery before they would even know what addiction was. But sometimes my sons don't respect me. And 
maybe be mean. And the boy's dad said, that's my fault. And Sherry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. He was just hurt and angry from the breakup, broke his, blah, blah, blah. You will hear me talk about my kids quite a bit. Um, I won't go into, you know, I will never tell their story. I will never say anything that they would not want me to say. If I want to talk about something specific, I always ask them. My daughter, she's my firstborn, my only girl, but we're estranged. I figured out this morning, last night, why. Thanks to that amazing, wonderful spirit message. I know I was talking about it, but spirit stopped me. I'll get back to that in a moment. I almost went too far with sharing. Anyway, squirrel. I'm gonna talk about this because I know some of you are going through this too. And if my daughter wants to get pissed at me, well, that's nothing new. I love her. She is my firstborn child. I got pregnant at 17. I had her at 18. My marriage to her father was very volatile. Larissa witnessed things she never should have. But since her father has come back into her life and trying to repair what I, I don't even want, I can't, I can't, I can't even talk about that man. Me and my daughter have become very estranged. She's very, well, my daughter's been angry at me for a very long time. And I have never been able to pinpoint why. I think it started out with, she was an only child for the first seven years. And due to the extreme abuse that was endured in my marriage, whether she wants to believe me now or not. But since that man has come back into our world, it's got, it, it, she has so badly wanted a dad. I don't blame her. I don't know how much longer I'm going to have a dad. I can't imagine what she's gone through with not having one, not having that protector. And she did go live with him for a year and that was traumatizing as hell for her. I had no choice but to let her go or she would have grown to resent me, even though she does now. But I think what it was is because for seven years, it was me and her against the world. And then all of a sudden, within 19 months, I had two more kids. And unfortunately, my daughter was older and kind of got, you know, I had a newborn keeping me up all night. I had a toddler keeping me up during the day. I did the best I could with what I had. My daughter also did watch me go through my drug addiction, which probably wasn't good for her. But the moment that her father came back into our world, things have been really bad. Like we're estranged. Like we can't even talk to each other. Like. And I miss her. I miss her. I want a mother-daughter relationship with her so bad. Like I have with my mom. But unfortunately, and Larissa, if you're watching this, I'm sorry that you're going to hear me say this. My daughter is her father. It's like he's warped her. I don't know. I. I'm 
I, I actually me and Larissa talked a bit last night and it was nice. And I, I said to her, Larissa, sometimes I wonder if maybe I would have given to you to more stable, a more stable family, you would be happier. You wouldn't be, you know, things wouldn't be like this. And she said, mom, I understand now that I'm a mom because I wonder this out, you know, and I said, I've done the best that I could. I said, but I can no longer be the blame for everything. I want a relationship with you. I want what I have with my mom with you. But I cannot be the blame for everything anymore. You know, when I was younger, I had said some things about my dad when I was angry at him that I shouldn't have. You know, I was pissed off. And I talked some shit to my friends. I shouldn't have done that. It was wrong. I was angry. And but I owned it and I apologized and now I know how my dad felt because it's kind of happening to me. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And I said, this is hashtag journey to self. This is my channel. Don't like it, don't watch. I literally have a list that me and my therapist wrote out. I've kind of gone off kilter. Sorry, Jerry. This live, or this live, this whip and chat hasn't kind of gone as planned, but does anything go as planned with me? Have you met me? Yeah. And he said to share my stuff, share it. There might be people that can give me advice. You didn't make piss your daughter off, but that's nothing new. But I've had her friends come up to me and say, you are nothing like Larissa has said about you. Well, if that's what floats your boat. You know, if that's what makes you feel better, if that's what gets you through your day, that's fine. I love you, Larissa. I don't know if you'll ever watch this. I love you so much. I always have. From the first day I seen your squishy little face. I want a daughter, not an enemy. I don't want, are you okay? What happened? Oh, oh, okay. I'll be done filming here soon. Okay. Yeah, if you're watching this, Larissa, please know I love you. I always have, I always will. And I'm hoping that one day we can have a relationship. But you have to own the wrongs that you've done too. Jerry has said that he would do, you know, like, one second, folks, I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I just want to let Richard know that the vacuum's a little loud and distracting and it's been about another hour and a half. I had to actually reach out to my therapist and say, are you sure about this? He said, Sherry, share. There, I, he said, share. There are other people who are in the same boat as you or have been and can help you. He said, is that not why you share your experiences? Like, you know, with the, like with the collab I'm doing with Lisa. Great. Drug addiction, domestic violence. Because you want to help someone. Well, let someone help you. 
who may have the same similar issues. And I know we're getting close here. Like it's, we will pick this up again very soon. Larissa, I love you if you watch this. But the shit has to stop. We don't know how much longer my dad's going to be here. Let's not have my dad leave this world with his family, with this. This isn't us. Well, it is. No more. No more. And like I said, if, you, if you're in the similar situation, I would love advice. I've never spoken about this outside of the family. If my mom finds out, she's going to kick my ass. But this is my story. This is my journey. And Jerry told me to. <laughs> well, you guys, this definitely has not, this, this whip and chat has not gone as planned. But I'm glad I didn't film last night. Because it would have been really bad. The spirit message. That was probably one of the most powerful and moving spirit messages that I've done. I, I, I'm not going to go into too much detail. But I have never been so moved. Because my friend had said, what does my spirit want to say to me? And it just came out and sounded like her spirit. And not something I would say, not how I would say it. And, you know, people will say, yeah, Sherry, oh yeah, like they, you know, they hear of mediums and those who can communicate. I'm not evil. I am not possessed. I don't work with the devil. I just recently accepted Jesus into my heart. But nobody has the right to tell me how my spiritual walk will be. That is between me and my makers. I have Bibles that I'm reading. Nobody has the right to judge me but my makers. And if you judge me because of my spiritual path, be prepared to be judged yourself. Does that not say that? I literally have people who don't talk to me because I'm a witch. Seriously? You don't, you don't even know me. And I mean, that tells me a lot about you. I've had people uh, when I first started the channel who had said I was an inspiration to them, you know, to come in and, you know, yes, my channel grew fast. And that's why my therapist says my ex-friend started gaslighting on me. They didn't like it. And in the moment that these people, I, I went from being an inspiration to these people to being shit. The moment they found out I was a witch. The moment. Literally, like, I, I, I could literally insert screenshots. Trust me, I have a lot of screenshots saved in my email. Because I have multiple emails and I take screenshots and then I email them to my other email. So in case my phone shits the bed like it just did, I still have everything. And the reason why I do that is A, for me to be able to defend myself. B, to remind myself because my memory is crap. C, to defend myself if needed. Anywho, moving on. I don't understand how someone, people can go 
from liking you and talking to you and you being an inspiration to suddenly you're the devil, you're evil. Huh? How? You had no clue until I told you. It, it, it's mind boggling to me. And then yes, when I accepted Jesus into my heart, I think some people got confused by that. They got a little confused. That didn't mean I was going to turn my back on the path that I've been on for pretty much my whole life. I don't wish ill being on people. I don't harm people. I help people. I just, I'm not religious. As I say, I've always said religion is for people who are afraid to go to hell. Spirituality is for people who have been there and made it back. I also don't believe in hell. But anyway, that's for a spiritual Sunday chat. YouTube members and Patreons will be getting spiritual Sunday again. If you're going to judge me, then I hope when you meet your maker, you're ready to be judged. Because if I never would have said what my spiritual path was, if I never, if I would have kept it to myself, no one would have been none the wiser. Probably would have assumed I was Christian or something. There were times that I regretted telling you guys. But then to know me is to know the witch. That is who I am. Yes, I am gifted. And the point of this long-winded spiel, sorry you guys, I haven't slept. I, I would, I've, I've been awake. point of this is I can't remember now <laughs> I cannot not tell you guys how how do I I, do, I don't understand you know like you got to know me you got to know that that is me it is who I am I I live eat and breathe spiritual my spiritual path I don't preach it no more than Lisa. Lisa's a minister. She don't preach. If people ask, I answer. If they need help, I help. When it comes to giving spirit messages, I don't choose spirit. Spirit chooses me. It's not 1-800-DIAL-A-SPIRIT. My friend last night had been praying for a long time that I would connect to their spirit. I can't, I can't make it happen. Like I've had people saying, well, if you can't connect to my dad, then you're not the real deal. Don't work that way. Sorry. You know, it, it, it's... But last night, last week, twice with other people. Was it two weeks ago? Three weeks ago in Walmart. There's no way I could know what I've known and repeat it. But I give people peace. I give them peace and I help spirit cross over so they can rest in peace. That is not evil. That is beautiful to me. I have, after last night, I have 100% accepted the gifts that the God and Goddess, Jesus, have given me. I have accepted them. It's not a curse. You just kind of got to take the ugly with the bad. You got to take the bad with the good. You know, it's just kind of the way it goes. Deal with it. I just sometimes got to learn to shield better. And they got to learn not to stand in my bedroom door. Or pop up when I'm in the shower. Man, we got privacy here. We got boundaries. <laughs> if you think what I do is evil by giving people peace, 
I think you need to look within yourself. Because by sitting there judging me, that's evil. That's evil. That's dark. Going and talking crap about me behind my back because I'm a witch, that's evil. That's dark. You know, if everybody would just scatter kindness and stop judging, you don't know what any one person is going through. Just by like paying for that guy's groceries. Help put a little bit of a bright spot in a very dark time. You don't know what anyone's going through. Be kind, not cruel. I know I've been cruel at times. I know I've hurt people. But I've owned it and I've apologized. That's all anyone can do. And if you've done it, apologize. It doesn't mean you've got to be friends or you've got to be, you know, all up each other's ass and it or whatever. And no, to my ex-friend, that's not what I'm asking. I don't, want, I don't want to talk to you ever again. I want to pretend like, no, yeah, leave it at that. Be kind. Because of your guys' kindness to me, I'm here. You guys didn't let me give up. You guys wouldn't let me walk away. You held me up when I couldn't hold myself up. Thank you. Thank you. You have no idea. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get you guys to realize, besides repeating it over and over, squirrel, how much you guys have helped me. Strangers across the world have no idea. I got told that me and my channel are not good enough. for a brand because of what happened in September. Holy snapping dragons, I made a mistake. I didn't fake it, I'm not a fraud. And thank you to the people who lied. But you know, that one, it hurt when I got told that. But yet, Somebody who is mean, has bullied people, is good. I'm like, okay, I can't wrap my head around it. Use it on your own. Because I am a good person and I will never let anyone ever tell me otherwise. You want to go and talk shit about this whip and chat? Go right ahead. You want to try and set me off? Go right ahead. I'm not backing down. And to the people who don't want to participate in Battle of the Waxes or the big event because you're afraid to be associated with me, please just unsubscribe from me. I was absolutely, this is the last thing I'm going to say, because most people don't even make it to the end of your videos. So I have received a few messages from people saying they would love to do Battle of the Waxes. They would love to participate in the big event. But they're afraid what some people may think if they see they're associating with me. Seriously? Really? If these people have that much power over you, unsubscribe, block, delete, go away. 
I don't want to know you. Like, it's a diamond painting community event. It's Battle of the Waxes. Like, but people are afraid to be associated with me because I made a mistake. That was when I went, wow. Holy crap. Please don't participate. Please don't do Battle of the Waxes. I don't know if anybody is going to do Battle of the Waxes. I don't care. That's fine. And if people want to go and laugh, say, hey, look, nobody wants to do it. I don't. I'm not going away. I am not going nowhere. So just leave me alone. You stay in your lane. I'll stay in mine. But can we please get this community back to diamond painting? And quit worrying on what I did or didn't do? How many months ago? Quit deflecting. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. And yeah, I know, this is old. But like, I just got these messages. I'd love to participate. I enjoyed it last year. But I'm afraid, you know what? So-and-so might think if they see it. Really? Well, I don't want my channel to be affected because I'm associating with you. I'm like, really? Okay. So I have seen other creators do worse shit. Okay, you might hear a little aggression here. Tear down people. Bully people in comments. Mislead their audience. Blatant mis lies. The audience just don't know. And I own my mistake. And now, no, this goes deeper. Let's get this community back to diamond painting. Get over the fact that I didn't tell you about my misdiagnosis sooner. This is why I didn't. Do, you, did you, do people see now? Do you see why? Automatically accused of being a fraud. I built my channel on fraud. You know, I could hurt brands because I built my channel on a fraud. No, what that is, is your ass got chapped. And now you want to just. I can hear my therapist now. Let it out, Sherry. Let it out. I'm afraid. I, I, I have fear of letting it out. Of I don't, I have, I struggle with dealing with my emotions, as I've said before. And I know I'm going to get the dislikes. Like I did, I'm like, you know, oh man, give me those dislikes. You got no idea how you's helping me. You're helping me get those views because you're bringing me up in the recommendations. Keep disliking my shit. I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going to stop. The more you push me, the harder, the more I'm going to, I'm going to come, I'm going to, I'm going to come back. I'm not leaving. I know you think you had me beat because I went MIA. No. Yeah, I was in a very dark place. Not no more. I'm off the pain medication. I have been for six weeks. Ooh, yeah. No pain medication, you guys. My doctor's gonna kick my ass because I'm suffering for it. But it was because I had to prove a point to some family members that I'm not a drug addict. I'm not abusing my medication. I don't understand why people wanna keep trying to push me down. Why am I not allowed to soar? 
I don't understand. My therapist said, people don't want to see me be successful because they're afraid that they're going to lose their, whether it's my daughter, whether it's a friend of 10 years, whether it's someone I thought was a friend online, they don't want to lose their spotlight. They need gaslighting. They need that power. Because that's all they got. Well, as my grandma always used to say, the truth always comes out. Did for me. And if you want to call this drama, I've seen other creators do a lot worse. I don't think I'm going to have people calling you crying because of something I said today. I want to see balance in this community. I love this community. I'm actually going to look at taking up cross stitch because I'm told to go over to the cross stitch community. There's nowhere near the amount of drama. I want to understand why. When I became a creator, there was some flipping drama. Why? Why? Why is there drama? It's diamond painting. Why? Even while I've been gone, I've had to block 18 people for bringing drama to me. You bring drama to me, I'm gonna block you. I don't wanna know, I don't care. I don't care, don't bring it to me, please. It's diamond painting. Are people that worried about numbers and views? Affiliate ships, sponsorships. Are people that afraid of losing the spotlight or not being top dog? Like, really? Let's support each other. If people would put as much effort into supporting each other and showing kindness as they did into this bullshit, this community would be amazing. And to some of you who have asked, why am I not doing the big event with Melissa B? Me and her haven't talked. So please don't make a drama out of it. I've had three people come to me about that. And I'm actually gonna reach out to Melissa today. Me and her have not talked since the last event, since last year. We kind of parted ways, it happens. You know, like the big event was my, was my original idea. And then me and Melissa kind of got together and did it together. You know, and she, you know, she was going through so much. You know, I understand fibromyalgia. It sucks. Cause when you have a flare up, man, you go down. But yeah, we just kind of. So Danielle is one of the first people that befriended me in this community. She is an amazing lady. I will have her channel linked down below. I do have a giveaway going on Instagram. Go check her out. And that's to kick off the event. $50 Diamond Art Club giveaway. Just go check it out on Instagram. That's linked down below too. Okay, you guys, I know this whipping chat was wonky all over the place, but I'm doing what my therapist said. Welcome to hashtag journey to self. Some days you're going to get aggression. Some days you're going to get funny kid stories. You're going to get all kinds of things. But I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to share. So maybe I can help somebody or they can help me. I'm not going to allow other people 
to make me think that my content is bringing people down. When I've seen a lot worse. I'm not making people cry. Don't come at me. Just leave me alone. If you don't like me, that's fine. I probably don't like you either. <laughs> stay in your lane, I'll stay in mine. But I'm not going nowhere. I'm here for my subscribers. The people who have had my back since September 11th of last year. That's who I'm here for. Thank you. Thank you. I think in a sense, you guys saved my life. Seriously. Strangers. Go to bed tonight knowing you saved my life. And that's why I'm not going nowhere. It's for those people. I don't care if I have eight subscribers, 80, 800, or 8,000. I don't care. I don't care if I get five views, 100 views, 1,000 views. I don't care. It's not why I started this journey and somehow I let somebody make me think that that's what's important. No, it's not. That's why I haven't done a 5K, 6K, 7K giveaway. When I hit 10K, yeah. And it's not if, it's when. I have confidence in myself and the content that I'll be bringing out. Oh, guys, I got some crazy stuff coming. Trust me, it's not going to be all this. But my therapist said I need to let you guys know the truth. Don't sugarcoat it. Jerry literally said to me, 67-year-old man said to me, Sherry, lay your shit out on the table. Show them your cards. And then you can move forward. Don't hide. Because you're afraid that you're going to piss someone off. When I started this channel, that's what it was about. Sharing my life story, giving hope bringing mental health awareness. I remember, I'll never forget when I had another creator who is quite big in the community reach out to me and say, by sharing my addiction story, helped her to go get mental health meant the world to me. She sent me the most beautiful fairy painting. <laughs> we started a collab together. <laughs> and even before September, I lost that friendship. And I don't know how or why. I think that's the one thing that hurts the most. <laughs> Is even before September. <laughs> that meant so, I couldn't believe it. Like, wow, by me, like that's why I started my channel. Me sharing my addiction story helped her to go get her help for herself. We talked a lot, sent each other little gifts, and then just all of a sudden, I kind of started getting avoided. No more collab. Gone. And then September happened. I hope one day I get an answer. Okay, you guys, I know I'm ending on a sad note. I'm just hoping maybe by chance she'll hear this. And just know I miss you. 
I don't know what I did. I'm too afraid to reach out and ask because maybe I don't want to know. But I miss your friendship. I still watch your videos. I just stay silent. I watch a lot of you guys. I stay silent. I don't comment. I don't go into lives. I stay silent because I'm, I don't want anyone to worry that they're going to get backlash because I'm there. But just no haters. I'm not going nowhere. Keep hating. It's got to be lonely there. Okay, you guys, this is long enough. I'm sorry. If this, oh, Sherry, stop saying sorry. Here I am. This is the beginning of the journey, you guys. YouTube community members and Patreons, you will continue to get to see the nitty gritty. Because I, I trust you guys. Like, it's not saying I don't trust all of you, but I don't know if I'm going to do this kind of whip and chat again. I'm going to have to just see how it goes. I'll speak with my therapist. But this is where I've been, why I've been MIA, and what's happening. Things are going to be wonky for the next couple, two, three weeks until I get moved. Um, medications have been adjusted. Not only was I diagnosed with ADHD, I don't have borderline personality disorder. I have bipolar. Psychiatrist diagnosed. So you'll hear me talk about that. This is all new, really opening. Like I feel so vulnerable, you guys. I feel so vulnerable right now. But I'm taking a chance and trusting my therapist. On that note, I'm going to bid the all farewell. Till the next time. Stay positive. Live blessed. Be kind. And until the next time, namaste. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.